Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more EU4 Baltic Crusader playing as the Teutons. We are doing just fine and dandy for ourselves right now. Looks like we have managed to take a pretty good chunk of territory. We do have some rebels that are on the way, but I think it's going to end up being fine. And we actually can now grab some admin tech. Wonderful timing for that. Thank you very much, which means I can now build workshops, which just means I can get some more production, and I can build one in Danzig for .18. That's pretty solid, not bad. Pass the day heretico act. That is going to be some taxes and missionary strength for the rest of the game. Sure, why not? That seems solid. Just go ahead and take some of that nonsense. Seems fine. Um, so these rebels, I mean, I guess instead of drilling, we probably should do something with them to try and push them down. But at least for now, I'm not feeling too threatened. Can get the next idea. It's going to be at least nine years for the next military tech. So let's grab a national supply limit modifier. Seems reasonable enough. Thank you very much. Um, now we do still have a coalition to deal with from the last set of wars, which means I need to make some people like me a bit better. Uh, Lubeck and Opal over here are probably the most obvious ones. I think if you can get them to, like, 50 relations or something like that, they, um, cease feeling outraged, and therefore, they leave you alone. By the way, real quick, before I forget, we want to do some insults to try and get some, uh, power projection. I should be able to do a scornful insult for more, and that actually makes Muscovy and England like me, so sure, I'll go ahead and do that. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smells of elderberries. Gotta love a good Monty Python reference, right? Thank you, Paradox. Thank you for making me smile and feel cultured in a sort of funny way. All right, yeah, okay. But in the meantime, we are trying to build up some claims against, let's say, Brandenburg and in particular Poland, because in about two years, we should have the ability to go to uh, war against Poland. And I would like the ability to do so. It would be nice. I want some claims. Bohemia is my rival again now. Yeah, can't forget about that. That does suck. Muscovy is almost certainly going to eat Novgorod very soon. I can't imagine they won't. And they're looking real dang strong and scary right now. It bothers me a little bit how strong they've gotten. Um, I probably should have nipped them in the bud while I could, but oh well. Is what it is. We'll be all right. Hey, we can get another stability from the Pope. Let's go ahead and do that now. Stability is always a good thing, right? Should be enough to put some stuff close to down. Not quite all the way, but getting close. Could go for another state now, I suppose. Oh, we just finished... Right, we finished a mission building a marketplace in Stralsund, which means I get some loyalty and some base production there. And we get an Age of Discovery bonus. What do I want? Well, we could go for the combat bonus in, I think, what is it, Grasslands? Yeah, Farmlands, sorry. Farmlands, my capital, which I think actually... Um... A lot of Poland is considered farmlands. This could give me a pretty nice set of combat boosts against them, but still. Don't know if that's the best choice. Better colonies? No. Cavalry to infantry? No. Even though I do have cavalry combat ability. War taxes is okay. Transfer subjects? Claims bordering claims? It's okay. Aggressive expansion makes the most sense for me right now, given that I am having coalition issues. Uh, I think reducing that for the future is definitely going to be a good choice. So that's what I'm going to do. Diplomatic insults gone. A new agenda. You already passed a new one? Okay. Uh, let's see. Make Danzig have more base tax. We have to end the coalition. Break the coalition. That's going to happen anyway. And we get Diplo power for it. Okay. Or build a workshop in Marienburg. Game base production in a place that produces gems. Well, the only problem with that is I'd have to build up some development or get rid of a fort. I'm going to go for the proposal of the nobility here to break the coalition, because that's something I intend on doing soon anyway. I can't go to war against Poland so long as that coalition exists. It just isn't going to work out well for me. I'm going to go ahead and mothball these forts. I think we're okay. I don't think anyone's going to mess with me right now. Let's continue building up some more production buildings. That does translate into a pretty decent amount of money for me. The Riggin Separatists are now up to 80%, so we probably very soon will want to get the fort turned on. We get a new Cardinal, which will translate into extra Papal influence for me. Nice. Let's see what happens with that. We have 30 Spy Network. I need 35 for the last claim against Brandenburg. I don't think this was a good choice. I think uh, doing this to Brandenburg is a very low priority. We're not going to be getting... Oh, okay. Riga now is up to 90%. We're not going to be getting... Um... To fight Berlin and conquer any stuff in the HRE anytime soon. It's gonna be it's gonna be a while. Don't go to 100%. Thank you. Lubeck is 
angry and is now trade embargoing me along with their entire posse. Well, good. No, oh, that's great. That's what I wanted to see. Why don't you get down over here so we can deal with the Riggin Separatists very quickly when they do fire. In the meantime, let's go ahead and put down the rest and slow this down so we don't have as much growth in a few key areas. The Estonians and the Livonians are actually really close to being done. If we could get one more uh, stability, that would solve a lot of my problems there, but it's fine. We'll wait. I'm tempted to go for another state in Curonia up over here just because, I mean, it's not like state limits are an issue anymore. It comes down to the governing capacity. Though that said, I'm actually shockingly close to the cap. If I'm going to be using governing capacity, we should do so in the Polish areas because that's a culture I've already accepted. And by the way, I know some people have said I shouldn't have embraced Pomeranian culture because they're already in my culture group. Totally understood. However, because they make up such a large portion of my nation's development, I just figure getting rid of the um, any malices in the culture bonus is worth it. I mean, uh, we'd be losing 15% tax and manpower in most, of, about almost half of my country. Maybe a little less than half my country. So I figure, in this case, might actually be worth. Might actually be worth. If we can get a little bit more developments, I think we'll be able to get up to 25 force limit, by the way, and that would certainly be nice. Let's get that claim against Brandenburg. We'll put one in Berlin, just in case. Let's pull you back. And let's try to make somebody leave this dang coalition. We're going to get Opal up there. Improve relations by almost another 30. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be enough, but we're really close. There goes Rig up. All right, let's go ahead and move. Should be able to crush that pretty easily. And there they go. We lose about 1,700 men. That's not too bad. Keep our troops nearby and ready to go. Actually, where's defensive territory? Let's not have to worry. Well, let's just go right here, I guess. Golden Jin's fine. Continue to suppress these rebels and try to get these guys to just go away. Some of them are really close to just leaving me alone. And I don't want to have to deal with them. I can avoid it. More workshops. Yes, please. Gotta spend money and make more money. That is the rule. Okay, we can get some claims against Poland. Um, I'm gonna probably get Kalis for sure. That finishes out a state that I already own. So we'll go ahead and get a claim there. Beyond that, I don't know. I mean, we could go for things like Plock and work toward Warsaw, which is a trade center that I kind of want to control. Forces more money up into a zone that I own. So I think heading into this state next probably makes the most sense. Although we could also focus on some Lithuanian provinces. This one surprisingly has a Polish culture and 13 developments. Not bad. But it's a different trade node. Eh. I think Warsaw is a higher priority, technically. Still, if it comes down to um, just raw development that I'm picking up, maybe it's worth going down here. I don't know. Cardinal Minister. We can get prestige. We can get influence. We can get stability, cost reduction, missionary strength, and blah, blah, blah. Make all Catholics happier? I think that's a good call. Let's do that. That is a not quite... There it is. It is enough to get rid of the Estonian and Livonian separatists. Perfect. That's what I like to see. People laugh at my army. What? I will have you know, my army smashed Poland. That's no small feat that I have accomplished. What are you talking about? Whatever. Economic policy. No. I'm not losing all that mercantilism. Upset the burgers. It's fine. By the way, we should go ahead and revoke this. Uh, soon we can revoke the monopoly on livestock. Let's break the coalition first and get some loyalty here, but... Let's get rid of that soon so we can get um, production from livestock. We have a fair bit of it, I think, don't we? No, wait, trade goods. Yeah, we got like five provinces, six provinces, I think, that have livestock, so reducing that a little bit would be helpful. Maybe. I don't know. It's worth a try. We're getting close to capped out on manpower. We should do something about that soon. Sweden is embargoing me. Hmm. Truces have ended with Poland. Would love to do something about that. Could do something about that. But not while the coalition is still a thing. If the coalition is still a thing, I'm not going to be able to do this. I need them to leave me alone. Let's go ahead and start drilling the army again. Okay, more embargoes against me. I can't say that I'm surprised. It seems like everyone wants to... Just pick on poor little old me. Uh, we can fabricate one more claim real quick before it goes away. Let's get a claim on, let's say, Plock. And that is all that I get now with Poland for a bit. Fun. How about Stettin? We can improve relations with you, I guess. Try to get you to leave me alone for a little while. 
Yeah, losing the spy network there kind of sucks. It means I've only got claims on a couple of provinces over here. Where's the missions that would give me, like, claims on an entire area when you need them, you know? Those are the good ones. Priests are spreading heresy. I mean... I don't really want to spend the Diplo power. But I don't want to get all this either. Eh, whatever, we'll just crack down on it. Sometimes you lose power, I guess it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Um, any better? We've got the Improved Relations guy, and they're pretty decent. We're putting down inflation a teeny little bit right now. Could build another workshop, we'll do that. How do I break the darn coalition? I'm pretty sure that as soon as one person leaves, whether that be Lubick, Stettin, or Opal leaves, I'm pretty sure it'll fall apart. But I can't move against the poles so long as that's a thing. I'd love to make a move on the poles quickly, because I'd rather Muscovy doesn't have a chance to go to war against Novgorod first, because then I have to wait for them. And that would understandably get a little annoying. So, the sooner you guys don't do that, the better. Moonster returns unlawful territory, that is completely fine. You know what feels really good to be playing some more EU4? It's been a while. I mean, I know that this channel has started focusing a lot more on things like Hearts of Iron. I say starts, has been focusing on more like Hearts of Iron and stuff for a while, but... Uh, EU4 still holds a special place in my heart. It's a really good game. There goes a general, unfortunate... What's my leader look like, by the way? A 134, that's pretty good. Protestant Reformation has fired in already in 1486? Free city down here, so Brandenburg will be flipping pretty soon, and we're actually heading into the Age of the uh, uh, Reformation soon. That's actually um, sooner than I was expecting, actually. Uh, but alright. Fine, I guess we won't get to have much enjoyment out of the Age of Discovery. Um, let's go ahead and insult somebody real quick, because I am running out of power projection. We will go ahead and insult, I guess... Bohemia, since they already hate me. Done. If this is a great game we play, you are a mere pawn. Haha, ha, so insulting. Let's go for another idea. Garrison size will work fine. Manpower recovery speed goes up as a result, too. And we'll continue improving here with Lubeck. I just need them to stop being... Oh! I just need them to stop being uh, hostile to me. They need to be out, no longer outraged, and we'll be fine. So we just moved over to a 144 leader. That's pretty decent. Um, we can go for a happier nobility. I guess I could do that. Uh, Pomeranian makes Stettin like me. Actually, that's a really good way to get rid of this. You know what? We'll go for a foreign... Ah! Yeah, yeah. How do we kill this? How do we kill this heir? Blech. Terrible. A one, three, two, one. Yeah, let's, uh, let's put you in charge for a bit. Keep drilling. I need to kill this heir. That's terrible. But with Stettin having higher relations, if you can get above 50, I think they won't be outraged. And that actually is pretty good for helping break the coalition. So let's wait another month and see if that did indeed do the job. It might have. Yep, they're friendly now, in fact. Wow, how quickly things for they forget. How quickly they forget it all. Influenza spreads. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. Quarantine the province. We're not dealing with that nonsense. Okay, we're just a teensy bit away from getting you above 50. If Stettin and Opal leave, that's it. Stettin leaves. Opal's now probably not going to be outraged in a moment. Stettin likes me even more. Prussians are unhappy, but Pomeranians are happy. That's fine. Okay, Opal leaves. Lubeck leaves. There we go. Okay. Muscovy. Started their war against Novgorod just like a month ago. Dang it! Okay, well, uh, looks like I'm not gonna be able to do anything against them for a minute. We'll just keep drilling our armies, I guess. We completed the state agenda, though, because there goes the coalition, so thank you for the Diplo power. Um. Do I have, like, claims against anyone I can use except for Brandenburg? I think it's just Brandenburg. Stettin? No. Brandenburg, I can attack if I want to fight Bohemia, which I don't. I was just looking for, like, an opportunity to, like, you know, go do something here. I'd love to own Lubeck, because it is a really good trade province. Really good. I need vassals. That's what it really comes down to. Let's go ahead and spy on Stettin. I probably can get back to spying on the Polish. 
We have to now wait for Muscovy. There's nothing I can do. We're going to have to wait. I can, however, get myself another unit. So let's get another cannon. 0 0.06, 0 0.07. Oh, we did want to revoke the livestock again. So let's do that. Was there anything else I wanted to give you? I mean, if you offer the primacy of the nobility for crown lands, I'd lose a bit, though. and I'm kind of already close to the limit that I can lose. I want power is the thing. Eh, whatever. Either way, I should start getting production from livestock again. That'll be good. Um, let's just keep buying out some more workshops. Every little bit of extra cash coming in is better. Just lets me field more troops. Especially good if I'm going to have quantity ideas. Fielding more troops means I need more money. Which, actually, considering I'm making like eight ducats a month right now, eight and a half, I can definitely field quite a few more troops if we can just finish out these military ideas. We're so close. So close. I would love to have a claim against Stettin and maybe take the estuary, but really what I want to do is make these guys into an unwilling vassal. I would love to do that. Just end this nonsense with Poland and Denmark. Just get them out of here. Make them into a vassal. We'll annex them later. They're Pomeranian anyway. I'll get a trade port that I care about, even though I think it's in the Lubeck trade node. It is still. Whatever. Probably good, right? So how's it going, Muscovy? Uh, making progress. They just got to finish up the capital fort here of Novgorod. Which is apparently taking them a long time because they're ter terrible at everything they do. But all right, if they can finish that up, we'll actually be ready to go. Now, the trick is going to be getting Muscovy into this quickly because there's a lot of forts held by Lithuania on the border of Muscovy, which means getting their troops in here is going to be tough. I should be able to call in Saxony. I can try to siege down and kill Stettin real quick, and if I find small targets, I can deal with them. The problem is, I don't have a lot of forts in defensive areas, which bothers me. I would like to have better defensive forts than this. If we can get Plock, I actually will get rid of this in favor of this fort. Way better. Just defensive forts matter. They make a big difference. What's this? Build buildings? I built buildings. I built buildings. Yay, we got taxes and admin power. Even better. For building a treasury, I need 2,000 ducats. What? It's going to take forever. Grown by five states. I can do that. State maintenance, harsh treatment costs. All right, create a grand fleet. Got to have 30 galleys or 10 heavy ships. Yeah, I suppose that's, that's a thing. What else we got here? The Baltic Sea, strongest trade power in the Baltic Sea. I'm not already? I have 55% control. How am I not the strongest trade power in the Baltic Sea? Oh, we've reached a new level of army professionalism. I can do army drill modifier gain if I want to spend money. Temporarily isn't bad, actually. Um, I know it costs money. But building up your drill quickly sometimes is nice. I mean, this is translating into an extra 10% damage and 25% less damage received. And that's nothing to sneeze at. It's pretty good. But I'd rather just continue getting, you know, workshops and stuff. Come on, Muscovy, you're at 0%. We're just watching this little fort over here. With Muscovy's help, we can totally crush Poland-Lithuania. I just gotta get them in on this. The question is, do I go kill Stettin first? And just get them out of this? And I probably should, just so we can have it. Or do I focus on Lithuania, risk them going for my forts, but it's okay because I'm trying to burn this stuff down so Muscovy comes and kills. I will definitely want to pass the defensive edicts on my forts. I think that is absolutely for sure. Defensive edicts to slow down Poland and buy as much time as possible. Makes plenty of sense. Uh, fabric claim has to be at 30 because remember the HRE. We are, I think, capped out on manpower, sure enough. Trade disputes are ending because people are lifting their embargoes, that's grand. I should be able to get one more claim, actually. That's good. Start working more toward Warsaw. Poland was spying on me and they lost it. Haha! -ha. Uh, gain some shock skill. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. generally like production more than I like um, taxes where possible. 
Increased production and stuff just increases the value of the trade node itself, which as long as I have a dominant control in, is actually going to translate into a little bit of extra money. It gets me immediate tax from production, but it also, I think, increases my uh, trade as well. Both of which are obviously great. Muscovy just finished their war, and they ate all of Novgorod. Oh, okay. Yep, that's a thing. Um, right. Well, hmm. Let's get ourselves another claim here, then. Um... Probably gonna go for this state down here, so let's go for Wizna or Rawa, one of the two. Don't really care, we'll say Wizna. I want to go ahead and get the claim against Stettin, because it gives me options. We want to stop drilling. I could jump... I could jump on Lithuania's troops and try to smash them real quick. That's a thing we could do. Or I can try to stack wipe Stettin. Is shattering 12,000... I won't be able to stack wipe them for sure, right? Like, almost positive? I mean, if we put a really good general in charge like this guy, maybe. Doesn't seem likely, though. Let's go ahead and um, activate all the forts, because I think we are about ready to go to war. Just about. Just need a moment, just need a moment. But let's make sure we get that garrison up for the forts and they're ready to go. I need my morale and stuff anyway. Lithuania is pulling their troops back. Okay, so maybe not. Maybe we just go and take the quick, easy stack wipe so these guys can't do anything. That way we can have, uh, let's say, Saxony go siege down this fort. And having a fort siege down is enough to distract AIs a lot of the time. So I guess I'll take the claim on Stettin, since that's obviously the better province. Go ahead and pull this guy back. I am pretty sure he can get into this fort without going through a zone of control in Poznan and stuff, so we will want to activate probably the Edict in, honestly, maybe all three locations, just so we have plenty of time to work with. Alright, if I want to declare war on you, Hungary doesn't join, that's good, they're still very heavily in debt, Muscovy is A-OK, -okay. Saxony, no. Their strength is low. Well, I agree that your strength is low. That said, we have enough favors I can ask you to prepare for war. So we'll do that. That should give them 20 reasons to join, so they will do it. Let's take my navy and uh, go out here, because I don't want them to get uh, separated and crushed. Also, I want to be able to quickly speed through Stettin when the opportunity arises. Okay, he just pulled his troops back, because I think he senses impending doom. This is a reasonably good time, right? Yes. Now is a pretty decent time to do this. I can't co-belligerize Stettin. I don't think. Yeah, no, they're still allied to everybody I don't want to fight. But, with Muscovy's help, all of a sudden we're looking at pretty overwhelming numbers. I'll make Khalees over here the war goal since it is easily grabbed without having to worry about a fort. So we just go for it now? Do we wait? Do we go? I think we just go. Crush. Also, take a couple infantry, go over here and just siege us down real quick so they can't train up more troops. You got away? Really? Wow, he actually got away. I'm shocked. Alright, I'm gonna allow uh, people to stack up with the hope that Saxony comes and supports this, so that I will be able to send them to go do the uh, siege. In the meantime, over here in East Prussia, we're gonna swap over to a local defensive edict. The same here, that's gonna cost me a bit of money, but money has not really been an issue up to this point. We'll wanna make sure we change these back later. But the increased defensiveness should be nice. Let's see if we can go catch this guy. He still has, like, no morale, right? Where's he going? He's gonna go all the way down there. Let's put you in charge. Get over here. Saxony, don't, don't go that way, Saxony. Don't do it. Come and support me. Alright, where's Muscovy? Muscovy is on their way to one of the many, many forts. Yeah, admittedly, that's gonna be annoying. Let's just go kill Stettin's army real quick. I just don't want to have to worry about them. They're stack wiped. That was easy. All right, back up over here. 
Uh, we'll take the couple of infantry, I think. Leave behind 10,000 troops. Let's go ahead and move you guys here. Let's move you guys here. The problem is this is a very high-level fort, and Thuringia and Saxony alone aren't good enough. If they would be nice enough to stack up with me, we can either go and crush a Polish stack, and they're going to be pretty slow on this for a while. Or we can just have them do the siege over here real quick. I'm shocked that we don't have enough ships to blow this open. I have... I need to have 300. Because it's that high level of a fort. How irritating. Alright, well, where are you going, Saxony? You're just going to go down there? I don't know if I support your decision. But okay, until Muscovy gets here, I think what we do is just bide our time, let them do their thing, swarm like hell. I'm gonna say, Muscovy, you've got a goal to go for that fort. You've got a goal to go for that fort. And this fort. If you can do those three, any one of those will be enough to start flooding your troops in. Which is really all I want. You see if you can jump on the Sealy stack while they're all distracted. That should be easy. Crush. I would love to jump on this, but there's enough reinf... Uh, I s he can go through Plock and get through here. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. But we managed to inflict at least a few thousand casualties on their little coalition, so that's something. Just buying time. I likely will lose a fort or two, but it doesn't matter that much. I mean, this is only a level 2 fort, and we've slowed him down a lot, whereas this level 2 fort is already getting burned down. So, I mean, yeah, that's where the defensiveness edict ends up being pretty good. Alliance breaking with Brunswick. Why? What's wrong? What? Oh, you're Protestant. You flipped. Well, I can try to improve relations with you a little bit. Not that I think it matters that much. How's the Reformation doing? Uh, there's a couple of centers over here, actually. Okay, so they're spreading pretty quick. The third one has not yet appeared. It's only the two. Okay, well, we'll try to save that if possible, but I'm not going to cry if we lose it. What I am going to cry about is if we can't go crush these stacks while the 28,000 poles are distracted. Why are you guys going for this other fort? You can do it. You don't need just the one. Oh, whatever. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This is not a defensive fort, but it is defensive edicts. Thuringia is not helping at all, which makes me think they might be disloyal to Saxony. Saxony's all the way down here. Which is a questionable decision, I think. We'll put our troops in position to jump on this the second we can. We just need to get lucky with a fort here. Uh, Diplotech? Impressment offices? Yeah, alright. I don't see any reason not to just go ahead and grab it. Still three years. Um, so what's going to be more important? Going for the admin tech with the infantry fire and the cavalry shock? Or going for the 50% force limit modifier? Truth be told, probably the tech. Tech's almost, like, 95% of the time, tech is more important than ideas under, like, any circumstance. The only reason this might be different this time is just because 50% more force limit modifier lets me build up more troops to go kill these guys. And also, ward off coalitions because suddenly I'm looking a lot scarier. But still, we're very close to getting a couple of forts. There goes Muscovy, they finished that one. I'm going to tell you to go ahead and actually not worry about that. Can you head west? There goes Seton. Okay, so that's done. Let's pull off of Poland real quick. Let's get our troops together because we want to go jump on this. Hi, Seton. So, here's the thing. If I made you a vassal... This would upset a lot of people and get me a ton of aggressive expansion that I don't want. 36. That feels like so much. Like, really, though? If I took just Stettin. We've got a little time to burn that down. It's a very, very good province. Um, yeah, I'm tempted to do that, Only honestly. But is it really worth it? Because what it does is it lowers my ability to take more from Poland because the coalitions will get too large. And without more allies, that's tough. All 
I don't have a claim on this one, so that's not going to be that much better. That said, I mean, it's closer. I guess we could at least take this. It's pretty minor in terms of the, um, it's not what I want, but I'm not, I'm not collecting in Lubick anyway. It gets me some territory, and I will have time to core it before this war ends. So I guess that's okay. And then, I guess I'll just have you break, uh, I can't make you break that up. This is fine, though. Let's just do this one. This gives me time. I can core something else in the HRE. It's rare enough that I get that opportunity. We'll core this. We no longer have to worry about fighting his navy, which is good. Lithuania, I think, has a navy, but it's not huge. Where... Oh, wait. Muscovy's got a bigger navy. All right. So you guys can go dock up. Except for trade ships, you guys can go and protect trade again in the Baltic Sea. You guys are black flagged, but in a moment... We can now group up and go charge. And we should be able to crush this. There goes our alliance with Brunswick. Oh, well. Crush, crush, crush. Got it. Poland pulled some of their troops up, off, which means I may have an opportunity to go and smash these guys right over there. Which I'll happily do. Muscovy is not coming to join me. They're just kind of wandering around. Which is irritating. I would love to get you guys off of this fort... And since his troops are still moving east to go and deal with small stacks like Saxony, this may be my chance to go and save my fort. Maybe. But I think for the moment we're going to go ahead and end this video. So another big war with Poland. I imagine this is going to go very well as long as we don't make a really stupid play that costs me a ton of troops. We should be able to win this, and even better if I can prevent myself from even losing a fort in the first place. But we'll see. Thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I'd ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.